I'm going to show you how to import and view a GLTF model in your browser, your web browser, via the A-Frame API built upon 3JS uh, WebGL graphics engine. Let's jump right in. We're going to start by downloading a GLTF file. There's a lot of different services out there, but we'll arbitrarily pick a GLTF model. Just looking around here, Robot Victor Gonzalez. This looks interesting. It is licensed under a CC attribution Creative Commons, so we're going to use this, and I will go ahead and give Victor Gonzalez the uh, proper attribution here. Download this 3D model as a GLTF. So we've downloaded the file, and it appears as a zip folder in our downloads. We're going to go ahead and open that up, pull that over to the desktop, and we'll make a new folder, call it GLTF Tutorial. Save that. So now as you can see, our folder structure is the main folder, index.html, within we have assets, and the scene GLTF lives within that assets folder. Go into a text editor, set up our HTML page, GLTF stuff, yo. Now within the body, we're defining an A scene. Closing that off with an A scene. Inside of that, we have A assets. Closing off our assets, and then inside of these assets live our GTLF models. In A frame, we're going to call these models uh, A asset items. And then we give that an ID. So we're going to give it ID equals, I think it was a robot that we downloaded, right? Next, we specify the source. We made that file structure wherein we have assets. Then we have our scene.gltf. We're going to close the tag, and then we have to close everything out that way. So now that asset should be loaded in. In the head, I should note, we do need to include this script, which points to the minified um, JavaScript um, source file for the A-Frame API. Now under our assets within the scene itself, we're going to create a new entity, a entity, specify it's a GLTF model, and also refer back to this ID. So we're going to point to that robot. I should um, put the little hashtag there. Close out the entity tag. Save this file. Then we're going to open up a browser of choice. We're going to go to that file and we're going to, we should see our model loaded into the browser. And here it is, it's the robot that we downloaded and it's super tall. Um, just keep in mind A-Frame also injects the, the, the proper sort of functionality to view everything on a VR headset. This button will just make it full screen on desktop. You can do that now. Um, and it looks like it also weirdly changes the, the background color. Um, you just press escape to get out of that mode. A-Frame also does this thing where if you don't specify otherwise, you can use WASD on the keyboard, and it sort of lets you move around the scene as if you were in a video game. Using A-Frame, if you press Control option i it launches you into the inspector, which is just sort of a Blender um, reminiscent 3D inspector in browser. And it lets you um, just look at the different you know, components of the scene. It lets you spin around, zoom in and out. I'm just using the trackpad right now, so it's not working great. So this way you can resize the model um, in the browser, change the perspective, mess around with camera angles, um, vectors, everything like that. And as far as A-Frame goes, this is a really useful built-in tool. So that's it. That's how you load your GLTF model into A-Frame, viewable on a VR headset.